Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. My name is Cory, right here at Missledyne Online. In the last episode, we tried to make it to Trino, but we we didn't end up doing so. However, we did get to Dally and we got 99 wrist, which are gonna be great for the cotton robe trick. Uh let's see. We met a friendly monster Moo? Mew? Mew? Mew. Um, and then we met Casper, the friendly ghost. Seriously, the ghost. He's friendly. Uh, yeah. So we met him, we gave them some ore, so that's 20 AP right there, pretty cool. Uh, and then, we got to Quan's dwelling, which is right here, where we found some very interesting stuff going on. And that writing about Vivi? That's a little weird. That's a little weird. Alright, and... In the meantime, I have done some off-screen training, and I wanted to show you guys the results of that. Dagger is now level 11 with 382 health, 74 magic points. Steiner is now level 12, 644 health. And Marcus, you'll notice, is only level 8. And that's actually because Marcus is not a permanent uh, team member, uh, and, which is too bad because, you know, he's kind of cool, and I definitely wouldn't mind having another thief in the, in the party. But, no, Marcus, Marcus is not actually with us. So, as you know, experience points get divided up between all active party members. So what I did is I kind of let him die in battle against Ma some Mandragoras, which, uh, trust me, if you're fighting Mandragoras, it's bound to happen. Someone's going to die eventually. Uh, and I just kind of left him dead. And, like, I, I think we got maybe 500 experience points for each battle, which is enough to level up. I think Steiner was level 9 when we fought one battle. He jumped all the way up to level level 11. So that was cool. And as you see, that's about it. Uh, we didn't really... We don't have any other items or anything to, uh, to equip. So we're kind of got to make do with what we have. Um, kind of stinks that Dagger isn't learning any abilities right now. She hasn't been for a while, but that's fine. Because we need to get out of the forest so I don't fight Mandragoras. Thank God. Um, but right. So, now we're going to finally go to Treno. That's right. We're finally going to go to Treno, which makes sense. That's part 40. Part 40. I wish I would have made the beginning videos longer so you guys wouldn't have to sit through 40 videos. 40. That's crazy. That's a lot. But, yeah. I mean, you guys have been with me the whole time. That's awesome. Love it. I think I just hit 41 subscribers today, which is really cool. Um, obviously, that number can always go up. <laughs> Please. Um, but no, I'm serious. Yeah, it's great that you guys are watching, and I'm, I'm really happy that you guys are watching. Um, and tell your friends, you know. Honestly, it really does help me out. And I and it's more of the, the idea that I like that I know that people are watching, that people, are, people think I'm doing a good job. Um, that makes me really, really happy. That's like the best part of it. Is that people are like, no, 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 you're doing an awesome job. And I'm like, thanks, because this is new, but I'm loving it. And I want to sacrifice for this, and I want to do this, and I'm really enjoying it. So anyways, let's move on to the beautiful dark city of Treno. <laughs> yeah. Treno. As you guys will notice, as almost as soon as we get into the city, it is, n it is very pretty. But very, very scummy. Dark City. Treno. Princess, this is Treno, the city of nobles. We need to find out which noble has a super soft. There aren't many nobles living here. The nights are long. It's a great place for thieves. People like you turn this city into a slum. Let's steal the super soft and get this over with. Steel, how dare you? You know, it's kind of weird. Treno actually kind of reminds me of um, uh, a grittier London. Um, I've actually been to London, and I really liked it. I'd love to go back. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know why. Maybe it's the architecture. I don't know. I don't know. The, the, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. Don't you talk back to me, first of all. Uh huh. Do not interrupt me while I'm talking. Look behind you. What? Princess, I urge you not to... P -p princess No, not again. Never have I dealt with such hardship during my 18 years of service. This is all because of you and your scoundrel- Gone. 
An Alexandrian knight must not let such a frivolous matter get to him. I must find the princess. Alright. ATEs! We haven't seen these in a while. Active time event. Trino tradition. This is something that you guys have to pay attention to when you do this. ATT. Uh, see the guy behind you? Pickpocket. If, if you don't press X at that time, you lose a thousand gold. Yeah. And you do not want to lose a thousand gold. Nah, nah. Dot, da, da, dot, dot, dot. Dot, da, da, dot, dot, dot. Hey, look at a thug. Heh, <laughs> what are you doing here, sir knight? Uh, nothing. What is this? I'm gonna throw in 10 kill. I feel happier. I want to do it again. I feel happier. I want to do it again. I'm getting happy. That sounds wrong. No, seriously, though, I'm getting happy. And, if you keep doing this, I think it's, what, ten times? Okay, really? You can do Steiner, right? I'm pretty sure. No? Can I not do it? There we go! Alright, so you have to do, you have to donate ten dollars into the, uh, ten gil into this fountain a bunch of times and you'll receive the Gemini Stelazio. Which is really cool. Actually, the first couple times I played this game, I didn't know it was here. And I spent so long searching the city of Trino. It looks splendid, but isn't it dangerous around here? I'll protect you. Whatever. You're a, you're a, you're a butt. You giant butt. Butthead. I'm going this way. Up the pretty tower. Another ATE. Uh, how about Confusion? Yes, yes, indeed. I'm confused. This is not a very nice city. Right? That's what I'm saying. Better find Supersoft fast and get back to Alexandria. Here go. Uh, um, maybe not this way. Yeah, I won't find the Supersoft over there. Burp. Oh. An old gentleman. Excuse me, have you heard of a thing called Supersoft? Oh? My wife? She died about three years ago. No, I'm looking for an item that cures all petrification. Oh, really? I'm doing fine, but thank you for asking. I may be old, but I'm still healthy. Dot, 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 dot. Um, thank you very much. You're still young. Don't give up. Good luck. Old people, right? Am I right? <laughs> shoulder, shoulder, nudge, nudge, right? Stop yelling, guys. All right, so let's head down here because there's some items chest it's a yeti card woohoo yeti card what's in this one 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 gill one gill there's got to be an easier way to make a quick buck there was there was a quick buck right here in this chest what's here a taurus we got a car I'm just kidding it's a stelazio hey carpenter uh anything good going on here no Alright. Oh, poor guy. I should have left it there for him. Let's see, what can we buy here? Nothing that we need. Mm, yeah, let's let's make sure we have some Phoenix Downs just in case. I know we're I know we're at a reasonably high level, but um kids! Take a good look around, Mario. We're gonna get out of this slum someday and live in a mansion on the waterfront. We're gonna become nobles, right, sis? Shut up. Punch you and punch you. I'm gonna punch you. You silly, you silly fart. Uh, how about unexpected visitor? Nine hundred gil, a thousand gil. Oh, this must be an auction house. Maybe I can find the super soft here. Hmm. <gasps> you guys know who that was? That was Thong Man. Doesn't sound as serious when I say that was Thong Man, now does it? Oh, hey, I found a Moogle. Is there anybody else in here? No? Okay. Moogle, come here. Hey, look, it's the old guy. You. M oh, Mogrich. All right. A letter from Stiltskin. Okay, what does it say? There's trouble in this rainy city. The guys I saw there were heading towards Voob Desert. 
west of Bermica. The only fine sandstorms. What could they possibly want? I'm gonna follow them and see. You want mail? Don't we all, little Mogrich? Don't we all? If you guys go in here, this is a very interesting little thing. See the guy on the ground? Like behind under this cage? Yeah, you can fight him. And we will. We will fight him. But let's make sure that we have adequate uh weapons. Mithril swords. Hmm? Uh let's see. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Um uh, do I wanna equip a mithril sword? Alright. Here's what we'll do. That monster of the night family who owns this building keeps that monster as a pet. He likes to see people challenge it and get beat up. I want to fight that monster. Alright, let's see if we can win this. Now, I'm not going to wait. This is a single battle all the time. Um, only one person can fight this this whatever monster is down here. Um, so it's not like I can have Dagger and Steiner and have Dagger heal or anything like that. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight against a griffin and we got this we might not have this we don't we don't have this uh oh ho ho we do not have this holy holy cow holy cow we we no no way we don't have that we just got our butts whooped. I told you so. Don't be such a fool. Yeah, I'm gonna use a potion to heal myself. I'll just use a high potion. Oh, whatever. Oh, come on. Poop. There we go. Alright, I'll be back. You little, you little griffin. Jerk face. What's funny is you actually don't find griffins in the wild until, uh, in the wild until soon. All right, before we go up here, uh, no, we'll just go up here. Actually, no, we won't. I'm, I'm thinking of something not to do yet. All right, so we're going to go back up here. Disorganized, disorganized, Corey, totally disorganized. All right, so we're going to go up here and we're going to see what's up. No, seriously, though. We have to go to this building soon, so I want to make sure that we're good now. Because um, I don't want to miss on something just because... Oh, I didn't want to say the night. Whoopsie poopsie. Well, at least we had a nice little nap. What? I'm speaking in tongues. No, I didn't want to go that way. Thank you. I want to go down. Down. That guy stole a ton of money from some nobles. He's my hero. That guy, huh? Looks like he has some red hair. Looks look like his hair's flaming. You know? Oh, okay. Can't go through here. So there's no items here. I'm being dumb. I wasted your time. How do you feel? Are you okay? Alright, good. No, but seriously. Let's uh, look around a bit more before we get Dagger. Because we never even went this way. We need to go this way. What are you doing, sir? Where did he go? Oh, are you looking for the guy that pickpocketed my my girl? Yeah, he's gone. What's this? Let me guess, a mithril dagger. Oh, I'm good. I've played this game too much. What's this say? It's locked. Okay, fine. What do you want to say? Now, remember, guys, you can always play Tetra Master. Um, now's actually a really good time to play Tetra Master. Uh, that was not the way I wanted to go. I'm so angry. Uh, no, but seriously, you can go and talk to people and play Tetra Master all you want. I'm not, because I'm sure you guys don't really want to see that. I mean, I might do it off screen or something just to get some, some cool cards, but that's about it. Um, see all these guys walking around? This red mage and, and, and that dude over there, the big guy. They are actually really important um, to something that I didn't show you guys because that's where Dagger is right now, where she saw Thong Man. Um, so I didn't show you guys that. But there is something over here. An either. I found an either. Good job, Corey. Good job. What's over here? 
Not, I could have sworn there was something over here. No? Okay, get out of my way. Okay, I'm being dumb then. I do need to go back this way. So let's let's cut that out. What do you have to say? It better not be a fake. It's not a fake. I'm not stupid. It's a fake. All right. So in here, we'll find a bird woman sitting on a chair with an old farmer guy. A bunch of cages. Queen Stella. I am collecting star-shaped coins called Stellazio. Oh, you have the Scorpio. Here, I, I want to show you guys something first before I actually do this. You can go to your items. Oh, uh, yeah. Go to key items. And all of the Stellazios that you pick up tell a story. Ares, the story of 12 zodiacs. The 11 zodiacs pondered how best to catch Virgo's heart. Ares headed east. What? Taurus had an idea. He would give Virgo a gift. Through the forest and over the mountain, he found a star. Jim and I thought by the river, I will sing her a song. He didn't know where she was, but he hoped his song would reach her. Scorpio was very timid. He always looked at a shadow until one day he decided to look away. He walked up a hill. Cancer headed to the Cape, where Virgo waited. The sun was setting into the ocean. Would he finally see her? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so, now that we know the story a little bit, we can hand these in. Whoa. Quack, 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 quack. You may take the reward from my servant. A thousand gil? Cool. Here, cancer. Quack, quack, quack. You may take the reward from my servant. Phoenix Pinion. You guys are about to see why I'm doing this in like a second. I think it's four turn-ins or three. We get an awesome new weapon for Steiner. Quack, quack, quack. You may take the reward from my servant. 2,000 gil. All right, give, give me, give me, give me what I want. All right, let's see. And yes, there is 12 Stelazio, and then there's a 13th hidden one. Blood Sword! That's like the best thing we can have uh, for Steiner at the moment. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, 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 let's see, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? 5,000 gil. Well, that's really boring. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, so let's go back this way. I'm going to be cutting off the video shortly. But I want to go in here. And we'll, uh, I'll show you guys where the synthesis shop is. Hey, you! Nah, I didn't see any cute girl with long hair. What? What did you say? Nothing. I bought it for... Coward. Oh, cool. So we got a power belt after he... What is this? Oh, and we can listen to... Listen to this. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. Oh, I'm so happy about about this. Whatever. Who cares? All right. So, that guy that we just saw stole money off of Dagger, 500 gil, and basically bought us a power belt, which is more expensive. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And now you can talk to this guy at the counter. And Synthesis Shop! Yay! We love Synthesis Shop! Remember the 99 wrist and 99 steepled hats that we bought? This is why. This is why. And, remember how I said you guys need a rod? Well, this is also why, because we need a coral ring. It absorbs thunder elemental attack. So let's get one of those. What's a Kakusha do? Do we want to buy one? Do we want one? Nah, we'll wait. Hmm. All right, let's get a bunch of cotton robes. Woohoo, cotton robes! So we bought a bunch of cotton robes. And I guess we'll uh, cut it off here. And I'll see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Have a good one, guys. I'll miss ya.